Hi guys, Fletcher Shark today here with Bass Angler Magazine showing you a different way to rig a Yamamoto Senko in the summertime for heavily pressured fish. In the summer, sometimes them fish can get up under docks and hard to get to places or just under docks that fish have seen a hundred different baits at that time of the year. Um, or say a dock you can't traditionally skip a bait up under. One thing I like to do is I like to take a wood screw and put it in, insert that into the head of the Senko. Here would be the tail, here's the head where you traditionally rig the bait. I like to screw the wood screw in. The reason why I don't want to go with the nail weight is that screw actually gets a piece of the piece of the bait and it doesn't try to sling out whenever you're making skip casts and things like that. So I'll go with a number six wood screw, three quarter, one inch long, put it into the head of the Senko. Then I'll take a four to five aught trocar EWG hook and insert it into the tail. It's hard, it's hard to do, but you want to try to get that in the center as the best you can because the plastic's so thin on the tail of the Senko. I'm just going to rig a standard Texas rig. And what you're able to do with this bait, you're able to pitch it up to the floating docks and things that you can't get a bait actually skipped up under. You're going to pitch it up to the dock and this bait's actually going to glide away from you. Very similar to a flying lure back in the day. It's actually going to glide away from you. As you pick it up, it's going to glide back and still have that shimmy that a Senko has to entice the bite, but it's going to get up under places that a traditional Senko or traditional bait can't get to and you're able to catch some highly pressured fish that are up under the shade. I promise you, you're going to get more bites in the summertime using, this, using the screw on the end of your Senkos and rigging it backwards. You gotta try it out.